problem is is that he actually has to land the nair on you. He does. And Lucina has those disjoints. The Latin and Charlie the King meeting in losers finals. The Starting at PS2. Yeah, the winner will go on to face Key in grands. Starting with the ledge trap, which is exactly where Charlie wants to be. Yeah, Gets almost, a lot of damage. But almost ran out of and, space. <gasps> Good oh my god, that was almost death, right? Because Wolf has an easily exploitable recovery. He does. And Valadin wanted to get the counter. But look at this combo from Charlie, though. Pulls Lucina up to 98%, and that flash will almost send him off Man, stage. The Nair, it, he's out of a jump. That's death. It, look, that stock was just up swinging and swinging and swinging at each other. Just obliterated before you knew it. Blink and you may have missed it. Still, Charlie's at death percent. Vlad is still very much in this. And Charlie is just Catches someone... him with the dancing blade. Has him on the side. But Charlie manages to get off the edge for five seconds. Yeah, I like the decision to go for the upward angled shine or upward angled flash rather to go back to stage. Just... No. So the fact that Charlie was able to get back to neutral is such a victory because it means he can start the strings again, get his own ridiculous edge traps. He's even going to trade with this down smash now, and oh, Lucina out of a jump and Valadin out of resources. And there it is again, the patented wolf edge guard that Charlie is so effective at, right? He's so great at getting these combo strings, right? Another 30%. But he's also so great at just catching you on the edge and destroying you doesn't get around that roll, and now Charlie has to find this way. Valadin's playing a bit more defensive, and who can blame him, but when you don't want to be comboed to death, you're just going to have to throw out some of these walls. Fair and bear does work, and he's going way off stage. He almost, almost caught him just there, but thankfully Lucina's recovery is actually not that bad. Will have to roll, no, doesn't have to rely on the flash to get him back, but trades with an air and that will send him back to the blast zone but he's already off stage again. Lucina has great edge guards but the thing is is that your edge guards can only be so great so much of the time and you are at 110% and down two stocks. Well, that, that one stop. Wanted to go for the flash to finish it off but at too high of a percent. Still valadin has been doing pretty okay so far this stock. He's got about 60% unanswered. If he can continue with this, he's fine. But the problem is, is that if Charlie is able to retake momentum for a second, it might be over. Yeah, but watch what Charlie does out of shield now. Goes See? for the back throw. And he has him on the ledge, and he's doing so much damage. That was almost death right there. And Vlad in such a dangerous position. Calls out the normal getup with the F tilt, and Charlie absolutely showing there his dominance. Right this is a really fascinating one because Valadin has been dominating Hollywood Action Tuesday of late. But the thing is, is that Charlie, who is not a normal Hollywood Action Tuesday attendee, is definitely one of the best players in the region, right? So well, this is essentially Valadin trying to defend his home turf. Yeah, Valadin right to pull out the popcorn there because Charlie put on a show for everyone on stream here. Into game two, no character switch, no Mario. Dude, Charlie's scary. I can't ha say it any other way. Charlie's scary. Charlie's wolf is just threatening in every sense of the word. Yeah, I don't know about the idea of a Mario switch against wolf. That seems like a pretty, it seems like a pretty ugly time to me. It's weirdly difficult for Mario or for wolf actually. It's kind of even, just because the hitboxes are awkward. This Nair train is going to send him back. Yeah, we, we were talking for five seconds and Charlie already got it as a ridiculous combo stick. What's new with this match? Approaches with an air and now down air into the up air, but at too low of a percent. Very light, nice combo for Vladin. Vladin probably wants to slow it down. That last game was very swingy and Charlie was the one who got the better of it. Attempting to check chase with a dare, but sniping him with the side B. That's another thing Charlie does really well, right? Is that it can oftentimes be difficult to land Wolf side B. But if you can, the results are so dangerous. Calls out the normal get up with the up smash that scoops from such a wide distance and now Charlie once again into advantage. An yeah, it, this is Charlie the King. It's another, another edge guard successful. Another ledge trap successful. And now back air from Valadin, the raw back air approaching, saw it from a mile away, but unable to do anything about it. Charlie already back to even stop. You know, Valadin is still not doing very well right now. Like, he's he's down about 50%, but it's so much better than last game, where Charlie was, it took forever for uh, Valadin to get a single stop. Yeah, Charlie, so, 
such a capable player in this particular matchup and even managed to time that so well to where that Legend of Invincibility just ran off and the down tilt connected. The up smash will almost get him to the blast zone, but as he runs off the platform, the shield breaker going to have no use and that flash going to only put him back off stage. You know, Vlad is not half bad at edge guarding himself. He got a nice little bit of damage here, but Vladin's at death percent, right? He has to be extra careful, especially on the ledge. He's been on death percent as far as the ledge goes. But the thing is is that he has to be he has to be very careful not caught by say a forward tilt, something of that sort. Again, it outranges every grounded option Lucina has and it's gonna be one of the largest ones in this matchup. I like Vladin for trying down there, but it still didn't work. And that's already another 30%. Down you know, throw dash attack and that short hop nair. God, Valadin, that's the that's been seven. Fair bear, and he went deep with a nair. Charlie DeKing already two games up with such a daring play, and now he's getting his reward that he's been seeking for all match. Valadin spent that entire stock just trying to get back, trying to get back. Didn't work. It was about 15 seconds of just pure beatdown brutality on the side. That was just such a pummeling that Valadin had to endure for all of that ending, and you could see, you know, even when the screen flashed red and those sparks came out, he was almost off screen. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was real rough. It went so way deep for that. Um, it definitely doesn't appear to be the stage. It kind of seems like Charlie just has Valadin's number here, so we're gonna see. Valadin is a great player. His success in Hollywood action Tuesday so far definitely reflects that. And even calling out the Dolphin Slash with the dare, Charlie DeKing only 20 seconds in, and the dare already putting in work. I stated literally five seconds before, it kind of seems like Charlie has his number. And not only is Charlie getting some of these flashy plays off stage, he's not slowing down, he's already into a fair string. Yeah, Vladin got a nice chain over there, but the thing is is that Charlie isn't just getting strings, he's getting kills. He's getting kills, he's getting trains that have follow-ups. The train has left the station. Has him on the side, but it looks like Vladin's gonna get back, but the problem is, 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 is it's not just back, it's staying back, right? And the fair into Dare, almost killing. You saw almost the sparks, killed. but the Nair comes out and already onto his tournament stock. Vladin is looking in dire straits. Yeah, this is looking like a complete shellacking right here. Vladin has to figure out a way to handle it. The nice dancing blade it managed to persist past Charlie's defenses, and he's managed to keep Charlie on the side this stock so far for the most part. But now he's on the edge, and when you're on the edge against Charlie, it doesn't go well. And Wolf is just a character that gets so much mileage out of these parries, as you saw right there. The shine not going to start anything off. Uses the up special from above. That's something that not enough Wolf players do. It's generally regarded as unsafe, but a lot better than just returning back to stage with a predictable nair. Aladdin gets the stock, very strong, but he has to find a way not to get caught on the ledge again. If I'm repeating myself a lot, it's because Charlie's repeating himself a lot. I mean, he's finding these stocks in just the same situations, and this has just been one of the most one-sided. On the ledge, watch out. Okay, okay, Vlad makes it back. Nice, high recovery. So Vladin has slowed it down. It's doing, he's doing a lot better now. He's getting a little bit more damage. But Charlie is still winning out these trades, and he has Vladin on the side yet again. Yeah. Pay attention to which direction. Vladin makes it back. Pay attention to which direction Charlie is facing, because if he's be reversing some of these layers, layers sniped. We were talking, and he got the snipe, the side B, killing at very low percentages. But you have to land it in the exact perfect spot. Yeah, guess so, because it's Charlie, exact perfect spot. He gets the sweet spot he was looking for. Even the sour spot might have just done the job of putting him far enough back off stage to where he could have just gimped him with an air. But no matter, he'll kill the direct route, and he is going to be going into grand finals, making the long loser's run after dropping against an Aru. You know, I actually like this one a lot better versus Key, right? Because Vladin had a lot of trouble getting past uh, Key's uh, zone. But Wolf has a lot more options against the Snake than Lucina does. He does. Just because he can counter camp, he can reflect, he has a lot of those options. And if he does close in, he can catch hitboxes. Thanks, you wanna switch out or? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
So we will be pulling out for grand yeah, finals. This has been uh, Winter 